and next one is next character isotopic nature of hydrogen isotopic nature of hydrogen hydrogen element is available in three isotopic forms one is protium and second one is deuterium deuterium and third one is tritium third one is tritium this protium formula is 1h1 deuterium is 1h2 and tritium is 1h3 so these are the isotopes of hydrogen means same molecular formula but different same atomic size same atomic number but different in mass number that is your that is called as isotope so hydrogen form three isotopes one is protium deuterium tritium in protium deuterium tritium in these three isotopes the main difference is number of neutrons your main difference is number of neutrons so means the protium and hydrogen containing zero number of protons or no neutrons no neutrons are present in protium and hydrogen in deuterium means 1h2 it containing one neutron in 1h3 means tritium containing two neutrons so means the protium deuterium tritium is easily identified based on number of neutrons if it is zero number of neutrons or no neutrons are present in protium and hydrogen in deuterium only one neutron is present in tritium no neutrons are present this is your isotopic nature of hydrogen and after that this hydrogen the hydrogen is occurrence in different forms like hydrocarbons the decomposition of hydrocarbons like ch4 this methane is reacted with in presence of oxygen undergoes at higher temperature produce carbon dioxide and hydrogen gas hydrogen gas is liberated from hydrocarbons r this hydrogen gas also liberated from a chemical process during the preparation or during the electrolysis of sodium hydroxide by a caustic soda method sorry by kastner keller method so these are the occurrence and isotopic nature of hydrogens and position of hydrogen element in periodic table and next one is preparation methods of hydrogen preparation methods of hydrogens generally hydrogen is a diatomic molecule hydrogen is diatomic molecule diatomic molecule that's why it is called as dihydrogen hydrogen is a diatomic molecule is called as dihydrogen okay in between the hydrogen sigma bond is present here only ss overlapping is takes place there is no p orbitals so the non availability of p orbitals it is under those ss overlapping so now preparation methods of hydrogen in that first one is 
laboratory preparation laboratory preparation preparation of hydrogen gas hydrogen gas is prepared in laboratory when the metals are dissolves in or the metals are react with acids it acids or dilute acids it liberate hydrogen gas that is for example zinc metal is reacted with a hydrogen chloride through heating it gives zinc chloride and a hydrogen gas or the zinc metal is reacted with sodium hydroxide through heating it forms sodium zincate na2zno plus hydrogen gas so sodium zincate is formed sodium zincate is formed so means the metals are dissolves in dilute acid or dilute base it liberated hydrogen gas this is the laboratory preparation of hydrogen gas and second one is industrial purpose industrial industrial purpose industrial method simple one industrial method for preparation of hydrogen gas so generally the water molecule the electrolysis process of water molecule electrolysis the electrolysis of water molecule the water molecule undergoes electrolysis produce cations and anions h plus and oh minus so this why this is a important one means during the electrolysis of water it produce cations and anions h plus and oh minus this hydrogen gas is prepared when when the preparation of sodium hydroxide is reacted with chlorine gas chlorine gas through a brine solution it produce hydrogen gas the preparation of sodium hydroxide in laboratory method by kastner keller in kastner keller method we use two types of electrodes one is cathode and one is anode cathode is mercury metal anode is carbon 